and it, it's gonna be a big night for a lot of teams. So let's get in it. With my first pick, I have the New Jersey De Devils taken Jack Hughes. Um, I have them taking it because, I mean, he's a center, and every team needs a good center. I know they have Nico Heesh here, but I think they could use him on the wing or a good um, second-line center or first-line center if he's better than Heesh here. Um, I think he is the better player than Kako, but yeah, I think he is. And so, number two pick, I have the New York Rangers selecting Capo Kako. He will be a great pickup for them to play with Zabinijad or something like that. So, that'll be good. He'll, I think he'll be NHL ready right away. And, um, I think he'll put up a lot of points with the line that he plays with. I I actually predict that um, Kako will win the Calder next year. So, and then number three, I have kind of a bold prediction. I have the Chicago Blackhawks taking Cole Caulfield, if you see that. And I think they pick him up because they need a winger. I know they have Kane, but, like, they already have a lot of centers, like Dylan Strom and, and people like that. So, I think they need a winger, and I think they'll pick up Caulfield. I don't think he's... Uh, I, I don't know, but I think they will go with him just because they need an, another winger in their set with centers. Um, number four, I have... The Colorado Avalanche picking up Bowen Byram. I just think he's too good of a defenseman for them to pass up on. And I think he's the best defenseman in the draft. And I think they'll be picking up a good player to play with. Maker or something. Like, or a defenseman like that. So that'll be good. I think they'll be a cup contender next year. Especially with him. I think he'll be ready right away. So, number five, I have the Los Angeles Kings taking Alex Turcott. I think he's an Anze Kopitar type of player. I think that'll be very good for them. And he, he'll he be able to score. And they really need scoring right now. So, I think they'll pick Turcott. And... I think he can be a really game-changing player for them. Um, number six, I have Detroit picking Vasily P Pod Colson. Don't really know how to say his name, but I think they'll pick him because I think he has a lot of potential. But he ha he did sign a two-year contract with the KHL, so I think they'll. I think Detroit they're not shy with. Well, Eiserman's not shy with drafting Russian players like he did with Kucherov in Tampa. So I think they'll pick him and wait because he has very good potential. So, and then number six, Buffalo Sabres. I have them picking Dylan Cozen because uh, he's just a good second line center and they need a second line center really bad. To play behind Jack Eichel, I think that's their biggest spot that they need to get, and I think he fits that really well. Number eight, I have Edmonton Oilers picking Matthew Boldy. Um, I think they'll pick him because they need a winger to play with McDavid, really bad, like really really bad, and I think he fits that really good. I think. He's he's a big forward. He can he can score, and they really need that to play with McDavid. So at and at number nine, I have Anaheim picking Kirby Dak. Um, Anaheim just looks all, looks like an awful team right now. And I think they just need to get younger, 
and Kirby Dak supplied that. He makes him. He. I think he's a player that they can build around for the future. And uh, a little bit of a controversial pick at number ten, I have Vancouver picking Peyton Krebs. Um, I think he he's a under the radar type of player, and like I think Vancouver needs more scoring outside of their top line, and I think they'll pick him. And here, if you want to see it in full. Here it is. And if I get this all right, if the, I get the top ten right, then boom. Um, I know the future. As a, see, you next, see you tomorrow where I'll recap the NHL draft.